Hey everyone, this is Derek Christian with Cleaning Business Today, and we've been talking about all of the weather-related challenges in our industry, and trust me, there are tons. Um, but there are also some opportunities that come with it, so I want to talk about that a little bit. And some of it is not necessarily weather, but seasonal. Obviously, it's the holidays, and it's Christmas time, and most of us experience a little bit of a drop-off in February. And I found there's some unique marketing opportunities you can do in winter around the holidays are fun and fantastic, but they're messy and we can clean up after it. Um, I did a very successful Facebook campaign a couple of years ago and last year, actually, where I took uh, pine needles and torn up paper and a glass ornament, threw it on the floor for it shattered, threw it all on a wood floor and took a picture and just posted an ad that said the holidays are messy. We can help you clean up and started running it the day after Christmas. And we actually booked over $4,000 worth of one time cleaning in the two weeks after Christmas off of that one Facebook ad. So that's one of the things you can do is target the idea that the holidays are messy. We can clean it up for you. Let us help with it after the holidays. Another holiday uh, activity that we did that's become a, a routine practice for us is we would do a gift card exchange after the holidays. And I don't mean for our, our uh, cleaners, I mean for our customers. So we would send out an email the day after Christmas that basically said, did you get a gift card you didn't want? Turn it in for cleaning service instead. And we would let customers trade in gift cards dollar for dollar for a maid service. Now, it had to be a new service. It couldn't be a current customer. But if you don't have an appointment with us and you want to book an extra appointment and you've got a $100 gift certificate, maybe to a restaurant you don't want to go to or Best Buy and you don't like electronics, give us that gift certificate and we'll give you that much money in free cleaning. Now, what we do with those gift certificates is we can either sell them online. There's gift certificate exchanges where you can normally sell gift certificates for anywhere from 5 to 20% off. Um, things like Best Buy, you're going to get, you can sell for 95% of the face value. Something like a local restaurant, you're probably going to need to give 20 to 25% off. But there are exchanges where you can post gift, gift cards and sell them. But the main thing we would do with them is we would take those gift cards and use them as employee promotions and giveaways all year. In fact, behind me are some things that we're giving away for our Christmas party in a couple days. Um, so if those of you that don't know me know that I like giving experiences, not money to cleaners, because I believe that um, they're a lot more motivated by experience. But that's a whole other webinar. So that gift card promotion was always very successful for us. Um, gave us a reason to email customers that wasn't annoying and I even got picked up in the press a couple of times and run as a news story on more than one occasion. The last thing as it relates to cold weather, is cold weather is a mess. There's going to be salt on the floor. That slush gets drug in. Every time there snows and you're losing revenue, remember that the houses are also dirty and the customers are probably going to need cleaning to take care of that. So especially if it's a light snow where you don't have to cancel, that's a great opportunity to remind people of, you know, let us come clean your wood floor. Maybe come up with a product that's just about wood floor cleaning and send it out this time of year. Now, we are actually having a webinar today at 3.30. Today is Thursday the 13th. Um, and normally these webinars are closed, but we're going to open it up because this is such a timely topic. So I've included a link down in our video down here for you to get on that webinar. And you'll be able to ask more questions instead of just a few short videos. It'll be open question and answer for 30 minutes. So I hope to see you then. Thanks.